Hello everyone, and I should have made this a couple days ago, but um, I've been mulling things over for what exactly I want to and plan on doing here with this YouTube channel. Um, just a quick summary of the backstory here if you guys are new to this channel and you don't know what happened. Um, my videos, my channel, and a bunch of other people's channels were in a targeted campaign, if you will, to false flag and get channels thrown off of YouTube simply for the fact that you can. Um, videos of mine were getting false flagged and copyright claimed and removed and strikes on my account to the point that my channel was banned or suspended here as they say on YouTube. Um, none of these videos violate any copyright claims. Um, I mean, my videos, you know how I roll. I just sit here in front of the camera and talk to you guys. Um, you're not going to see me use, you know, clips from, you know, movies or anything like that or, or sample music from popular artists or shit like that. So, it was a bullshit ordeal. And, again, thank you to everyone that rallied behind me and the other people, you know, people like Helsing that will, that was suspended as well, um, who is actually still suspended, I should say. Um, thank you to all you guys. Every single voice out there that voiced their displeasure over all this helped out the situation to where it's at today. Um, where it's at today is, is very unique because, um, like I mentioned before, um, my channel started getting false flaggings. Um, once this happened, people, um, I had a plan set forth on my end, and I kind of, um, I wouldn't say lied to you guys about a couple things, and before I start off anything here, no, I did not false flag my own videos, no, I do not know who false flagged my videos, no, I did not know the people who this person was going to go after, or any of the in-betweens, but... Going back to what I said about me having a set plan, um, once my videos started getting flagged and I knew this person was taken down and had successfully taken down other people, I was going to let my channel fall and I was going to purposely let it fall. For one reason I was going to let it fall is it was going to create a bigger impact and send a message throughout the system here that the system is flawed. Now, if I fought this, which I could have, and for you guys who don't know, when you're a YouTube partner, when you get the third strike on your account, your channel doesn't disappear. You're given a grace period of seven days to file a DMCA, DMCA counterclaim, and all you have to do is file a valid claim within those next seven days, and your account will be fine. That's all you have to do. So I had the perfect opportunity there to make sure my channel wouldn't fall, and I said, screw that shit. Let it, let it, let it fall and die. I can, you know, file claims later, and I have other routes that I can get my channel back, which I always knew about. And I hype this up to the point that I wanted people to believe that my channel was going to be gone and potentially gone for good. That I wasn't going to fight it. That I had no idea of how I was going to fight it. When in all actuality, I knew my channel was going to come back. Um, as for whether or not my channel will stay up. That is to be determined because that gets to the next part of what happened here. Um, once I had third, the third strike on my account, I had a fourth video that was flagged and copyrighted, or copyright claimed, I should say. That was the Ray William Johnson is a douche video, you know, that video where I just talked in front of the camera the whole time and violated no copyrights whatsoever. Um, once you get a fourth strike on your account, whether you're a partner or not, the, YouTube doesn't play that shit. You're automatically terminated. That's why my account went down, it was like two or three days after I got that third strike. And you guys all saw that email that I posted on my, um, my other channel, the Suck My Pee Huck and Balls channel. Anyways, um, my account went down, I had four strikes on my account, and the channel was dead. Now, I still at this point knew my channel was going to come back. But one of the things, and I can't speak factually because obviously I'm not the person that flagged my videos, um, I honestly believe that why this was all done was for the intentions of bettering YouTube. And that is why I willingly let my channel fall. Because I was a profit earner, if you will, for the website. And it would send a stronger message if a channel like mine fell. So, 
I really think the intentions of this person was to expose the system as powerfully as he could. I mean, I mean, what am I going to do? Hire a lawyer and take someone to court over shit like this? It's just silly litter, silly little internet YouTube here we're talking about. Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure this person probably knew that that. I mean, filing false DMCA's are really no big deal unless you're like doing it to like you know a company like you know Disney or whatever. So I'm sure this person knew it and that they weren't going to get in much trouble other than a suspended account, which they could just create another account and start false flagging again. Anyways, um, my channel was down and um, I found it unique that like one of my videos that was flagged was a, um, a expose a video, if you will, about um, how the false flagging system is flawed here on YouTube. It's kind of like they wanted that video taken down because they knew if YouTube had to review it to put it back up, they would have had to watch that video. And sure enough, that video um, ended up getting reviewed by YouTube. Um, they saw that there was no copyright infringement or anything like that, and they put it back up. So that means someone at YouTube actually physically saw it and they saw my um, expose about how their uh, flagging system is flawed. Thank you, Homer. Anyways, that, that's my Homer clock. I'm sorry. Uh, it's very unprofessional. Um, anyways, um, dragging this out really long here, but you guys deserve an explanation on all this. Um, basically, what has happened here is, um, I've mentioned before, I've hit my ultimate goal on this channel. I've got 10,000 subscribers. That is just the absolute ultimate. That wasn't bullshit. I've achieved it. I really feel that my mission here is accomplished. Um, where it stands now, um, I can tell you that pretty much everything in my channel description that you're going to see on my channel now, if you click the Archfiend and you look at my channel description in the About Me section, um, that's pretty much 100% true. Um, I am done here as the proverbial Archfiend. Uh, that's why when I said, um, you know, in my videos, this was the arch fiend when I reposted that video that was taken down, um, that that's all over. Like the arch fiend has proverbially been beheaded, just like the real life arch fiend. I got knelt before the emperor's general, and my head got cut off. And um, I'm done. I am done making videos about, you know, trying to expose douchebags and for what was my actual intentions of trying to make this site better. What I wanted to do all along was to expose the assholes, expose people that are e-beggars, expose people that are just genuinely ignorant, expose people that are just total whores, and make it so fearful that someone like me could potentially come after you and ruin your little precious fan base and make a dent in it, even if just a little. Um, I made those videos because I wanted this website to get better, but it's at the point now where the, the bad has farly, farly if that's the word, um, greatly overtaken the good. Um, it, it's no surprise when you see people featured and why they're featured. YouTube wants people to play by the game that they want them to. They want people who are going to use fake thumbnails. They want people who are going to use misleading titles. They want people that are going to put that little annotation that says, be sure to watch in high quality. And did you guys ever wonder why that annotation's there? That annotation's there on the, um, most of the time on the popular channels because when you click to watch something in high def or 420 or whatever the upgrade video quality is, it tallies another hit for the video. So it's just a way to get two hits out of every one person that watches your video. It's little shit like that that I've realized they've won. Those people have all won. I mean, my fans might love the shit I did about Shane Dawson, but he's won. He's, he's basically attached himself on to this website that has struck such a nerve and is such a mega money-making machine that why would he stop and change? And I originally thought that I could make him change through my series of videos, even someone like him, as high up as he is, but in retrospect, looking back now, there's no way in hell. Why would he change? It's all about money. And people gotta kid yourselves if you ever think it's anything beyond that. If Shane Dawson actually cared about his fans, he would stop being such a goddamn whore. But he never will be. And pff, half the other people on top never will either. Anyways, where does that leave me here? Um, like I said, I'm done 
making expose videos about douchebags and calling out the assholes on this website. Um, this channel here, the Archfiend channel, um, for one, it's always in danger of being shut down now. Um, I can tell you right now, I have more than three strikes on this account, yet you're clearly seeing me make videos. You're saying, well, how is that possible? Um, YouTube actually reacted to all the people that were getting banned and they're offering a layer of protection for us um, one because um, litigation was uh, threatened on someone's behalf which will remain nameless anyways um, <laughs> things are um, somewhat different here but that blanket of protection um, don't kid yourselves can disappear at any moment um, as I said in the video that I made, and it's only on my website, it's called The Death of the Archfiend, and I'm going to get to the videos on my website here in a second. Um, I said in that video, um, you have to kid yourselves, people, if you think everything is on an even playing field here. And I brought up the scenario of myself versus uh, Chris Boers. Um, now, I'm hated here on YouTube, that's a given, it just comes with the subject matter that I take on here. Someone like Chris Boers has easily, uh, I would say, a hundred times more people hating on him than I do. And you have to ask yourselves, um, why has Chris Boers never had a false flagging put against him? Why have none of his videos ever been removed for a false flagging issue? And as, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said in that video, of course he's been false flagged. He's been false flagged all the time. I know a number of my fans that have said they false flagged him, but why have his videos never been removed? Well, the answer is simple. He's protected, and there's a line of protection given for people who are the higher ups. Um, once you, you know, start really raking in money, or once you're someone that they consider to be someone they want to push, then you will be protected. And the website is not fair to the people that are on the bottom compared to the people that are on top. So this website can kiss my ass. I want this website basically to become nothing but what it wants to be. I want it to be nothing but Shane Dawson's, nothing but people that are e-bagging, that are money grubbers, that are going to use false thumbnails, that are going to use fake titles, because that is what this website deserves. It's what they want to create, then let this website have what it wants to create. I'm not going to sit in their way. I'm not going to, you know, call out people for, you know, making fake thumbnail videos and shit like that. It's pointless. The website is going to love people who do that, and that's clearly evident. And again, look at my fake thumbnail video with Justin Bieber. People, people tried telling me, you know, when I started going on to that Shane Dawson shit that, well, people don't watch videos because of the fake thumbnails and the misleading titles. The video's got 82,000, actually I think it's up to 85,000 views right now. And it's just a video of me saying, um, oh, I'm the Archfiend and this video has nothing to do with the thumbnail or title. 84,000 hits, or whatever the hell it is, I don't know, check it out, it's on my channel. So, the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding tastes like sour milk as far as I'm concerned. Wow, that was a new cliche I created right there, and it sucked. Anyways, um, this channel, um, going to what this channel is going to be, um... I'm going to just try and whore out this channel as much as possible. Um, people probably won't like what I do here. People will probably unsubscribe. As a matter of fact, I expect people to unsubscribe from this channel. Um, maybe things will change in the future. Maybe YouTube will totally have a, just a total reversal of fortune and the whores will somehow get defeated. Granted, um, maybe I will win the Powerball ten times in the next ten days as well. Um, both of which have extremely low chances of happening. But I'm going to use this website to promote my website as much as possible. Um, I've been doing things like live video game playthroughs. I broadcast live on my website. I'm playing Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 right now on the PS3. I'm playing God of War 3 after that. And people have been showing up for that and somewhat enjoying me um, suck at video games. I've been doing live broadcasts. I mean, hell, the other night we talked about people like... Uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd, Shane Dawson, uh, iHor, uh, talked about them for hours on end, and simply because I could. And like you know, like a video like this that is dragging on really long, and half of you are going, "Oh my God, this video is so long and boring." You can have an interactive video with me where you're talking in my chat room, saying, "Hey, you know, talk about this or that," and I can change the pace to what you guys want to hear, 
rather than me just, you know, make a video and give you no choice to do that. So the interactivity of the live shows that I've been putting on my website, I think has been phenomenal. So I'm going to start promoting that here as well. Um, as for my Joke Fiend account, yes, that got reinstated too as well. However, I am never going to put videos on that, web on that channel ever again. Those Joke Fiend videos, I'm just going to push them over to here. I'll upload them probably within like the next 10 days. I might do it like, you know, 10 days in a row or some upload a joke every day, whatever. Um, so I'm going to basically use that channel as my backup channel. That way, um, if I have no videos on that channel, it can't get flagged and it can't get taken down. So if this channel does get taken down, because like I said, my videos are still getting false flagged to this very second, um, I couldn't tell you my channel is going to be up here tomorrow. It could be gone for tomorrow, it could be gone for two weeks on end again, and who knows. So I'm going to keep that Joke Fiend channel up as a channel that I can reach out to you guys and make a video or two explaining just what the hell's going on. So that is pretty much everything, and boy, this droned on for a while, but I wanted to just get the full explanation of everything here for you guys. So, um, yeah, um, the Archfiend is pretty much dead. Um, the Archfiend as you know him, I should say. Um, I've reached my ultimate goal, and I'm just so grateful for everything I've accomplished, as little as it may be here on this website. And we all had fun along the way. We can't deny that. And um, I guess just lastly, um, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. You have to come to my website to figure out just what the hell that means.